welcome back. back to the ah! first podcast in the solar system. It's fuck. <laughs> oh, no, I realized I was listening and this is nothing going on. And I was okay with it. I was like, this is fine. <laughs> Great fun. Why am I here? <laughs> Okay, go ahead, go, go. How's it, guys? Welcome back to the best podcast on the fucking solar system. Vobs Podcast. Vobs, 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 Vobs. I am your host, Captain Liberazol. To my right, we got your other host, Davey fucking D. Hi. And to his right, but directly in front of y'all, because that's how angles work, I guess. It's your certified Vobs Controller. DJ D. And for a limited uh, time only, if you follow him on Instagram, he'll like your most recent pick. And say thanks for following vibes. You really appreciate it. By the way, you are a thousand <laughs> follower. <laughs> you were lost. You, guys. you were lost. I wanted to appreciate the fans. Yeah, no, I appreciate it as well, guys. If you don't know, we hit a thousand on IG. Yeah, Not congrats. just a thousand, though. Congrats, yeah. yeah. Congrats. Oh, did you congrats each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were together. No, I didn't let congrats. anyone congrats me until it went deeper. Because I was like, if you congrats at one no one, some shit's going on. Like, someone's going to unfollow. <laughs> like, it's going to be like a joke. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, so we're 1,152. Jesus. We are out here. That's amazing. And we were literally, when we said we needed to get to 1,000 by the end of this year, we were on 925 followers. No. So, I don't know what you guys did, but it came. It Fast. came to us. We love you. Thank you so much for sharing the podcast. Thank you for telling your parents about it. Because... Lems has been getting some requests these days from parents. <laughs> Let's not even. discuss it at all. Who's anyway, the African gen? We buddy? went to a holiday gent? recently. Like, I hate the way you phrase the question, by the way. Today. What question? The, the questions on the page. Explain it. The VAC Q&A, because we actually think we went on VAC. We did fucking go to VAC. We didn't go to VAC. We went to VAC. We, we didn't did. go on VAC. You went to Rage. I w- shut up. No. Uh, guys, we're going to lose any street kid we have. I've already lost it, dude. You know how many hands I've told I went to VAC, and now I have no hands. You got, like, no riz on you. I used to have girls, and now they don't talk to me anymore. But, yeah. Davey, did you have a good time? I'm currently dying because of how much fun I had. Um, you got vac flu. I don't want to call it vac flu. I'm not going to call it that. I've got something dying inside of me. <laughs> it's, it's your it's internal organs. Oh. <laughs> but no, 100%. I think we all got a case of the VF. That was hectic, man. It was a lot of fun. But yo. Yeah, it was a lot of fucking fun. Dude. We're going to run them through everything that happened. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, I haven't heard anything. So I, I'd like, I'm here with the audience. I want to know what's going on. So in my mind, yeah, 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 yeah. first, you guys went to Rage. <laughs> yes. Not really, but yeah. You guys went to the Belito. You stayed at a very nice apartment. Shout out, Greg. Yeah, shout out, Greg, for the hookup. We need to pay him. You guys don't have a fucking Rage Pass, but you've arrived in Durban with no fucking plans. This is Thank how you. I see. No yeah. fucking plans. Yeah. But you are with two gents who fucking go the hardest ever. Shout out, Ross. And the other guy. Jordan Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm, a, I'm uh, allowed. So, but um, yeah, shout out Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. So you George. guys are there, right? And you guys have no plans. But you know that, you know DJs here and there. And by here and there, I mean like most of them. <laughs> and that was the plan. Like, hopefully, uh, by some grace of God, <laughs> we will be at every party ever behind the DJ. We said it during the holiday and it's still true today. There's not a medic in the camp. But fuck, we know how to operate. (laughs) (laughs) My goodness. But yeah, we touched down late as well, bro. Like our flight was like, what time? Like 8 or some shit? We landed at like 9 p.m. We we don't even know where the place we're going is. Rent a car. Fucking (laughs) drive. Fucking drive all the way to the Belito coastline. Now bear in mind, the, fu- it sends you messages on your. No, we tour. didn't know that. Yeah. No, yeah. So we're just trying to get to Groove as quickly as possible. Then halfway to the thing, we get a message on fucking Jordan's phone. He's like, "Dear, Dear valued customer, customer. <laughs> you've noticed <laughs> that you were going." 93 in a 40 zone. Please, <laughs> please adjust your speed when there, as Bro. it may lead to accidents such and such. We got around nine of those messages on the way there, basically. Yeah, like, it wouldn't stop. <laughs> because we, the, the logic was like, they're not cops. Like, if we're going to get a fine, you're going to get a fine. But then, 
the messages didn't stop the entire time. And then eventually we were like, yeah, no, maybe it's time to and try. And then we got quite close around five minutes away when you realised. But like, we're going like 160 and then there's no Bro. sign saying Bro. slow down or anything. There's just a bump. Bro. Like just a speed bump. All, I, all, all I hear is... <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, All of us are like <laughs> flying. Like all of oh us were in the air. Fuck. That shit was fucking hilarious, bro. So Wait, so, so what airport did you land at? Shaka. Shaka. Okay, and that's fuck far from Belito. About 40 minutes, yeah. Fuck, yeah. man. So you had to but drive f- the full 40. Here's the yeah. fucking joke. The jaw that we had to be at was in Durban. Oh, my <laughs> God. So we went back to the crib, dropped all our stuff off. Then drove all the way back to Durban. And for and then timing wise, you were there what? Hop was ten at the house. I don't no, even we were there know. At around just at ten. Yeah. And then we got to the draw around ten thirty, ten forty. Yeah. <laughs> so then we go to How is that, is, how's that possible? <laughs> One seventy baby. <laughs> dear, dear valid customer. <laughs> Listen, we get Shit. there, we literally drop off our stuff, get changed, put some deodorants, and then we head out. So then the place is at... Um, King's the Shards, Yeah, King's, the, like the main stadium in Derbs. There. And... Yeah, so we get our bands and everything, and then we basically end up going, we go backstage, we meet, like, Vimo there already. We're yeah. drawing up backstage, it's sick, but it's very tight. That's one thing I don't like about backstage. Sound like such a prim and proper cunt, yeah. And, and this is at the big ass stadium. So, so there were two yeah. it, like events almost like happening Kingston's there. Kingston's and then Tiger Tiger. Tiger. And then we Can started off at Tiger Tiger where we went behind the DJ deck to like, because that was obviously our intention because we're like, we're not trolling with kids. Like, no. <laughs> you know, we're here to, I don't know. You know what? The one thing that people always say, and I saw it in the questions and we'll get to your guys' questions just now. But it was just like the why of asking like why the fuck would you do it? And for me it's just like if you like groove. If you're a groove merchant, you see no problem in it at all. Because Davy and I were not the kind of people who go to groove to like graft. You know what I mean? Have you ever pulled at groove? Names and I spoke like ninety nine percent of the times to each other. Like yeah. We were literally together most like nearly every single second of hundred percent. Like it was just us two. Well, Mm. people intertwining in that but most of the time we spend with each other and it was just like there's no if you don't have that thing in your head you're not looking or you're not wanting or you know and also for me it's a big thing again where it's just like oh do you guys like pull anything and for me it's like i could physically not look at any of those yeah. kids because those were kids i was just like i'm not i like i'm not gonna get involved in this like i'm here for groove i'm here to for drink and i'm here for that yeah. It even even took me flashback to like when we went or we were planning on going back and like you think about all the people that weren't even 18 yet at the end of the mm. year, no, fully, that there must be so many people under age. Apparently, it was super hectic though. Apparently, like even if if your birthday was like on like the seventeenth of December or something, you wouldn't be able to go in. Really, yeah, yeah. hectic. Mm. But uh, yeah, like you probably I'm couldn't sure activate your band or something. Mm. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, that was probably the fuck up. Hectic. Oh yeah, because it's all online now. So mm. You probably need to put ID and everything. Hundred percent. That's probably the way around it. And if you are seventeen and still getting in, then you're just an operator, so you can't even be hacked. But yeah, hectic. we went there. For me, that was the most fun night. Yeah, fully. The first like, night. Bro, yeah. we literally... I'm sure it was the excitement. Yeah, it was the excitement, but it was also like meeting everybody once we got there. Because like, like you see everyone in Joburg, but then when you're down in Durban, it's a completely different vibe. So like obviously like we saw John and them, and then it was like good energy. And then finally met like Son of Dennis and shit properly. And it was like, this is... Mm-hmm. I don't know, it was just good vibes. It was like good energy. And then we grooved from... What time does Rodrigo say it start? That was uh, one o'clock. Yeah, from like one in the morning to like four in the morning or no. some shit like that. Was that, that the stories I saw? Yeah. 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 Bro, that was the... I, I, and I'm not even hesitant to say it. Probably the best set I've ever jawed to. Really? Bro, and... It's, DJ Rodrigo. You know what the, the thing is? It's just a high, man. The thing Shout is, it's like it was such a high and everybody was like jawling together and it was just like... it was, And... Because we literally went home and there were, like, it was mainly the people that were there for like, so it was like Son of Dennis and like his friends and then like... Reed yeah, it was mainly like... And a, then us and then so Josh. it was Joburg and Durban at a Durban yeah. Jewel. That's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's still, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, fucked up, dude. That's so like, cool. Like hardly any people who looked like they were there for VAC. Mm-hmm. Like genuinely everyone there looked like they were either working the event or like came... Yeah, like it was, we it was literally like old, old Torpy Night, which is, sounds bad, but it was in that scene. <laughs> yeah, 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 in that <laughs> scene. VAC. Like yeah. there, was no, there was no one below the age of like 23 there. Yeah. Um, at the last bit. Bro, and we grooved. 
Like, like I've never grooved before. Like, I had so much fucking fun. And it's like vibing with everyone on the dance floor. Because normally when you're at groove, you're kind of scared to like interact with other people because you think like, I don't want you to think I'm trying to hit on you. I'm just enjoying the music and like catching a vibe. But it's like there, it was just like everybody dancing with everybody. Mm-hmm. There was a fucking conga line. And I was like, what the Oh yeah, I saw that. That on? was the story I saw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, conga that was, line. It was so fucking amazing, dude. Then... Afterwards, we end up in the parking lot, then get launched to go to a Sassel. Cause no, you need to say, we're going to put it as little, it's Mike fucking best. It's Mike fucking <laughs> we, best, we met, bro. We're Mike, one of like, <laughs> the nicest guy ever. Bro, he's such an amazing human being. Like the nicest smile you see. He's like, guys, there's a 24-hour bunny chow place. Yeah. So when he said that, I was like, it must be like a restaurant, like a takeaway place. I'm like, why are we going to a bunny chow place for like food? Like bunny chow in the morning. Like, bro, the sun is coming like up. Five, oh, it's oh. like 5.30 in the morning. Oh, hectic. Okay. The sun's up already. And then we're driving there and we stop at the Sasso. And I'm like, what are we getting petrol or something? And then everyone gets out and they seem very calm. And I'm like, don't you fucking tell me that the bunny chow is from a petrol <laughs> station. We're, we're stopping here it's for like, like a, a monster, yeah, right? It's like <laughs> it was the whole fucking bunny chow place. There's the steers there. Bro, and we're like, we pull up like four cars deep. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there were like 14 people that were all just sitting in this thing. So I went and I got steers. I literally had to wake up the people that were at steers. I felt so bad. <laughs> we got steers and then me and two other guys and then the rest of them got bunny chow. And everyone's like going to town this thing and no one's saying a word. Then as soon as everyone's finished, Mike was like, that, that, like, I was like, how was it? And he's like, it wasn't as good as I thought. And I was like, you launched everyone. You <laughs> said, we're going yeah. to this place. He's like, yeah, it was a recommendation. So. Oh, so he hadn't been there before? He hadn't been there. Oh, all. shit. I was going to say, it's probably like a tradition. They're everyone probably like hated every year. it. And everyone's stomach was Bro, the no one year. firmed it, bro. Even Caitlin had like two bites of her bunny chow. And then there was like this much left. I was like, that's actually And everyone was like, I don't know how to eat it. I don't know. This is like, you can say you don't want to eat it. Like, I didn't want to eat it. <laughs> I got deep in that thing and I was like, yeah, I don't like this. Then, because oh, like we went with Nikki. and there was sauce everywhere. <laughs> it was such a ah. weird... But you had to get the sauce sauce to yeah, fucking have it. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, be enjoyable yeah, that thing was dry otherwise like that thing looked yeah. like a dry bunny chow but it was such a weird fever dream of events like I'm literally trying my bunny chow and then I see Nikki come from inside the garage and he has a new hat and I'm like where the <laughs> fuck did you get that hat he's like I just bought it it was 250 can you believe it I'm like why are you buying clothes from a petrol station he's like no because I got the white one but I don't have another colour I'm like what is going was on was it like a bucket hat no no no, no. Like it was like a safari, safari type hat oh, okay. yeah. it was fucking ridiculous bro that morning was honestly like, like I I feel like I could have not slept and been fine just because of the way that morning spun me. Mm. Like it literally felt like I hadn't been awake the day before. And then we had to sleep because I was forced. I mean, it's probably a good idea. Meh. Yeah. Because it's a rage, eh? And that was on a Wednesday. That Tuesday Wednesday night. Morning. Oh, that was yeah. Wednesday. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, yeah. Yeah. And then what did you do in the day? How long did you sleep for? Five like, hours max. Yeah. Max five that's, hours. That's even... I mean, that's, that's a good sleep, actually. Four hours was, like, for me, my most. Uh, no, Davey woke up looking atrocious and then decided that he was going to get a workout in. Ish. Pray. Oh, is that when you're doing push-ups against the wall? Dude, mm. he started fucking curling fucking t- five kgs of water. Or five, ten liters, sorry. Five, ten liters. <laughs> five, ten liters. <laughs> Fifty liters of water. In my hands. Yeah, dude. Now it was beautiful. But damn. What do we do on the Tuesday? <laughs> Tuesday. Sorry. We flew. Sorry, the winds. <laughs> uh, Wednesday we went to the pool party. We walked to get oh, coffee. Yeah. That was nice. So we woke up Ble- in the morning and Ross was like, cool, I'm going to be back now. I'm just going to go like check my phone for something. Gone. Love a dose, bro. Bah. Oh, really? Gone. Yeah. yeah. Then, uh, yeah, David and I went to get coffee. I will say this about Belito, bro, is... If you want a relaxed holiday, like just go there because you just walk everywhere and it's calm. Mm. Like it's yeah, really. We could have walked to like ninety percent of the places we went to. Yeah, hundred percent. We just drove because it was fun. Yeah, and I think we were on a time crunch every oh, single and also, time. I mean, obviously, Sound Factory was a you know walking to Sound Factory. No one knew where the fuck that thing was. Imagine walking there and realizing okay, because it was literally on like it was like obviously a drive, but then there was like a fucking ten minute dirt road you had to go on. And if you're going on the dirt road at like 90, then imagine walking. But yeah. Uh, oh, we saw black coffee. Shims up. Wait, hey, do you, you want to get into the questions? Oh, I would say we can do it in between. So like we do a question now and then we carry on speaking. Okay. Do you want to ask the questions? Should I ask the questions? Here's the questions. 
All right. So based on your trip, yeah? Yeah. We asked everyone some questions. And uh, here it goes. Why? I'm just going to go. First one's first, baby. From Christina Wides. Yeah. Ups on Durban girls. You want to take uh, it? Yeah, I'll take it. So, Brandies. the only girls Brandies. that you could relatively craft and feel not shit about, like, everything, you know, you've ever done in your life and, like, your dignity, were the ones working the event. The only right. one I spoke to properly was, like, this one bartender, and she's, like, 22 or 23 or whatever. I'll have to fucking throw that in because... Whatever. You have to, right? You have to. Did you have to? She had a baby pigeon as a pet. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I need to continue speaking about her. And she lives in Pine Town. And she lives in Pine Town. I don't think I need to carry on about Durban girls. I think that alone should let you know how less I am for a Durban girl. There's a baby pigeon. Not only that, she showed me the TikToks that she makes with this baby pigeon. <laughs> Do you understand? You were talking to the girl Is she for TikTok long. famous? Mm, I don't know if she's TikTok famous. I hope not, because then pigeon. she's going to slew me. But, yeah, I was talking to her for long because I was just like, I don't know, I was catching a vibe. But then she said the baby pigeon thing and I switched off. I was like, <laughs> What's I'm wrong with the leave. baby pigeon? It's having a rat as a pet. <laughs> it's literally like having it's like, the like rat a, sky, it's a sky rat. Bro. Sky rat, bro. My goodness, it's so dirty as well. She showed me a picture. It was literally chilling on her shoulder while she was getting ready to come out. I was like, that is disease, man. <laughs> that is disease on your shoulder. What are you doing? Was she like a typical Durbanite girl? Like, like I couldn't wavy even tell hair, she was surfer, tanned as fuck. No. Pale, dark hair. Oh, so Lebs is typed. Yeah, for me, obviously. If you look, <laughs> leave him to find the one bar to him, it looks like that. <laughs> From Durban. The only place with the sun. <laughs> See, that's my thing. Is you you managed to uh, find that's that such a terrible film. example because he's like, ops on Durban girls. Let me pick the most Joburg Durban girl ever. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Dude, where were the rest of them, man? Huh? Um, the other one, the, the, the other one that I was... Nah, I'm not going to speak. <laughs> Why? No, you have to now. You have to. Why? No, because it's such a, it's a useless story. Go for it. It was just guabs. Oh, you got guabs? No, 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 no. She got guabs. I had guabs. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I just had gloves, that's it. Yeah, but <laughs> and also the manner in which like I had my first interaction with her, I don't really rate. And then the second interaction with her, I'm like, I could have done Was it better. The red frogs go. No. <laughs> but fuck red frogs. I love red frogs. We gotta speak about What's this. red frogs? We need to bro, speak about red bro, frogs, the best organization. Can I tell you if anything needs fucking funding? Bro, throw so away the skills development act, throw away everything <laughs> else. Jesus. <laughs> red frogs are with that. Yeah, facts, dude. They're, they're literally like a doll initiative where they like they'll take care of you. So they've got like sleeping bags, they've got water things, they make pancakes. Bro, they'll give you Isn't food. That, I thought that was Red you. Cross. No, that's I think a that, charity. I think, it, I, think it's a, I think it's an adaption. Isn't it? Do you not remember when we that the, that type of in initiative was happening at one of the jewels we were at? I'm trying to remember where it was, but I'm almost certain it was with you guys. Red frogs, probably. Yeah. The whole thing is like, fucking, the, that jawling uh, can be a very vulnerable space because like, people are drinking and sometimes it's like your first jaw and you don't know, like, well, you know what to do, where's up, where's down. So they provide like a space for you to go and like chill out. They even had this tent where it was literally like, <laughs> I'll tell it now. They had this tent Anderson. where they literally, like, you can go and like chill oh, out and did. talk to people. And there's like bean bags and coffee and all of this stuff is free. And they'll give you like jelly babies and shit like that. Like, <laughs> it's pretty sick. And they call it the vibe tent, yeah? Yeah. And I fucking died because somebody told me if I wanted more jelly beans, just go to, or jelly babies, go to the vibe tent. Please so I go seat. to the tent and then I see someone in a red frog's tent and then I, was, I said to them, I was like, is this the vibe tent? And then she's like, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine that fucking face as well. I was like, oh, come on, man, back yourself. <laughs> give, give me a glucose sweetie. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. That's so fucking funny. Fun, no, it's bro. a really cool initiative, bro. Like, I rate red frogs. Love the red frogs. 
No, the Reddit, that's sick. I remember them being, I'm sure it was Ultra or somewhere, but I remember seeing them there. Ultra. And that mm. initiative was fucking cool, yeah. And they showed yeah. a video of them like flipping pancakes and then like we were like hyping them up like, oh, oh. and then the guy comes in it's like, hey, Have man. a flip. <laughs> and then the guy's like, hey man, just by the way, the lines at the end, it's like, oh no, we're just here to watch you guys flip the pancakes. Yeah. And like, oh, okay, cool. And then he didn't flip it though. He missed that. Uh, so asshole. But awkward. All right. What's your ops on Durban girls? I, I think an actual Durban girl is pretty solid. <coughs> what you saw there wasn't a Durban girl. I and mean, we wouldn't have seen Durban girls there. That's what I was going to say. Is yeah, like, I'm How saying, did you know they were from Durban? Yeah, but you said well, Pinetown. But like, in general. I'm not going to lie to you. And if any of them are watching, how's it? How are you? My name is Dave. We, there were some baddies that followed us from Durban. And that's a Durban girl. And what yeah. do you mean followed you? They followed us on the podcast. Do you understand the work rate I put in while I was down there <laughs> to make sure that reels were coming out while we were at back in Dublin? Oh yeah, no. If you ever thought Lebs was, was not dedicated, <laughs> oh, you did not see this. He was at a pool party with a fucking computer. Shit, eh? Editing <laughs> reels. He was like, guys, this is annoying. I'm like, what do you? What do you mean we're not annoying? Then I just hear like him like laughing like five times and Ross like laughing five times because <laughs> he's just putting the captions for everything. Shit, dude, man. So fucking. This work rate is the grind, bro. Bro, yeah, and it know. worked, and it, it worked. Cause yeah. we there were a lot of like Durban based people that saw what we were there. Because even we literally on the last day there, we were at the pool party, and then we had literally just like dropped another reel. And then someone was like, Oh shit, do you two have like a show? And talk we're like, show. What the fuck? <laughs> and like a talk show. And we're like, oh, talk obviously, show. I know what he means, but yeah. yeah. And then he was like, Oh yeah. What did he say? The uppies. Oh yeah, he was That Uppies one apparently was big shit. <laughs> Yo, they loved the Uppies, bro. Fuck, that was so funny, bro. Yeah, that was fucking I, w- I watched that when I needed literally a pick me up, bro. It's so <laughs> fucking funny. I can't watch anything we do. It, I me mean, neither. It's just that <laughs> one reel. It's so I can't even when I'm like just like come past it again on like yeah, watch yeah, it my thing and I see it, I'm just like a smile at no, least. That's you know? dope. That's what I told someone yesterday. They asked about the podcast and I'm like, I have no idea how to describe this to you, but I promise if you watch it, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It's a nice way to describe it. Because mm. everyone always asks me, how do you describe your podcast? And I'm like, I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you found out means I've done something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, you know what she says? Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but if you can watch it and you can describe, describe it back to me, That'd be great. It sounds like I'm Ooh, like a cool. pickup line. You see I yeah. like it. Like and then cool. they'll watch it. They'll try to describe it to you. They won't be able to. Yeah. And then they'll have to watch every episode <laughs> until they can describe <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo. <laughs> I don't know if I want to read that one. Um, why? It's just why, 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 why? I won't say who it's from. Mini Sticks. I still try to figure this one. I don't know. Like so this. how many sticks did the squad munch? I think a steak is an underage. Yeah. Or so unless it's an actual steak. Steaks. Let's do it. How many? <laughs> How many, How many of us? <laughs> Zero munch. Bro. Zero. No, fully. Like, I, I'll put 10 fingers on any Bible. If you saw it. Any Bible. <laughs> <laughs> any religion, boy. Yeah. Give it. New <laughs> Testament, Old Testament, bro. Like <laughs> James Version. My eyes were closed that entire holiday. Dude, if you saw Fuck David, that. you would swear he hated being there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Anytime he wasn't behind the DJ booth, he was just like, Everyone was trying to, and this was probably like, I'm short, so all these jets think they could fight me. I'm like, I can't punch you, I'll get arrested. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason I won't rock you, is it's a crime. But yeah, no. No chow. No chow. No chow. No chow, man. You know Sounds what like it is, bro? For me, like, I like tried I s- to look it up even. Did you? Yeah. I'm like, trying to see if there's stick slang. Just. Oh, okay. Yes. Stick is a widely used term among Scandinavian teens about rich people. That's not what we're doing. How many obviously. rich people did you have? So many. With? So many, like one. It was David. <laughs> He's got cloud, though. <laughs> you woke up. You filled my bag with cloud. <laughs> one night. One All right. Next one from Sarah Forbes. How old is too old to go to rage? Uh, wh- the age old age? question. What's our age? <laughs> 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 no, fully. I'm gonna I'm say it now. I'm gonna say it now. Last I, had time. A, I had a fantastic time. Yes. Fully. But the only thing I felt bad for is like it did feel like you were invading a bit. No. Like, as much as. For me, I tried to not do that. Yeah, yeah. So it was like whenever. I don't know. I just tried to make my presence. I tried to keep it to myself as much as mm, possible. Oh, fully, yeah, me too. Because like I went there for music, you know, I went there to support our friends. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like, also, by the way, just shout out John, shout out Avi, shout out Rishi, shout out everybody there who fucking made it possible for us to go. Because relatively, we were nice fucked, bro. Yeah, fuck. Like, I know we say we had no plan, but the fact that we got there, I mean, shout out fucking Tristan as well. We backstage, like, like, every night. Bro, every, every single night. night, we got, like, backstage somewhere, and, like, it was just such good vibes, and, like, I don't know, I just really appreciate everybody for, you know, making that possible for us. Guys. But, that being said, if we hadn't gotten that treatment, I would have had a shit time. Yeah, I'm purely sure. Because it's I'm like, sure. Honestly, like, I'm dude, sure. Imagine having to groove. They're right. Like, grooving with kids is a bit, like, jarring as fuck. Mm. So it was nice to be behind because they're just grooving to the music at that point. Yeah. Like, you can be anywhere, really, to me. Yeah. yeah, it's like you're in your own vibe. I'm sure it's the same thing as going to a club here and just, unfortunately, that night or whatever, at some somewhere has young kids mm. and then you already feel like, oh, like, it's weird. It's just as weird. Yeah. And then, like... It, this is guaranteed to be young kids the whole fucking time. Yeah, and you know, you, true. so like, yeah, I can imagine having a, such a shit time if you're not like, but it, with other people for yeah. other people. For me, from a, from a socializing perspective, the only people I really socialized with was the ones I came with and mm. obviously the older people, but I could see how VAC, cause this is what I think people's issue is when they like, when you say you're going to VAC, because they think like, they remember back to their VAC maybe and at your VAC, you're talking to everybody because everybody's like your age mate. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're meeting new people, people from different schools and this, this and this. What uni are you going to? Oh, I'm going there too. You know, you're making friends and stuff. But if that's not your motive, if you're not going there for that, if you're going there purely to groove, then it's a completely different experience. You know what I mean? 100%. Yeah, we we basically went to like a three-day festival. Yeah. And what I'll even say, fuck it, dude, is like, if you told me I could go see Black Coffee and Shimza within one night of each other, at the same place, like, and then I'm going to say no to it. And then good luck as well. Oh, you're And so then really? fucking, yeah, Uncle Waffles, fucking... Jordan Arts. Jordan Arts, fucking... Bro. You're telling me all these people are playing back to back to back to back, and then I'm going to say, like, oh, no, it's a bit sus if I go. I think it's sus if you go to Rage on a Rage one. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, if, if you go, then you get the pass, like, you buy the pass, and you do all that thing, and, like, you're literally there living the full... Teenage lifestyle, sorry, sir. Yeah. Um, because I feel that that's, that's when it gets invading, and I feel like that that's where you need to take a step back, because there you're literally just ruining everyone's time exactly. by being there. Yeah, it, it makes it weird, I'm sure, for the young, yeah. young people. Because, I mean, they go there, it's like their first, like, jaw where they can go, and they don't need to be worried about getting ID'd or anything, and then now they must now stress about all the people being there. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. man. I'd be interested for the audience to comment down below what you actually think why like why i want to know from you guys why you think not or going to rage is not a good thing when you get older i think we've said like valid points but i'd be interested to see what other people say yeah okay this is a serious question from your own brethren mm. ross at sea oh Ooh. serious serious question he says weirdest moment weirdest moment we weirdest moment <laughs> tell me <laughs> tell me what was the we- <laughs> Wait, it- Weirdest moment. Over this video. You go. I don't know. You go. I'm thinking. I'm thinking as well. Weirdest. What was your like weirdest? fucking what? What was your weirdest? Fuck. I know what the moment. I can't say what the weirdest moment was. For me, it wasn't weird. It was expected. It was just annoying that it happened. Weirdest moment. In your head right now, you're thinking back to like something that might have been obvious to Ross that was weird. Yeah. And that you guys should know almost. Yeah, it's like, what did we do that he would ask that? Yeah, yeah. Or what did what anyone happened? do? <laughs> He's probably watching this like, guys, the fuck? I mean, for the fact that I'm not even sure if I can speak about this as well, but it's... <laughs> For the fact that when you're flying back and there were questions about if someone was going to get onto the flight. That was also weird. We can't talk about that either. Fuck. Weirdest moment for me. Probably the bunny child. Could be, yeah, I mean, that whole petrol station, definitely, that's, that's the top one. For me, it was just the black coffee, how he, how he just left. After he did a set. It was literally like this. It was like, dun, dun, dun. And then he waved, then he left. Done. Yeah. Like, it was like a sprint off. I was shocked. Could, Libs, you remember back to It's Personal, that first one we went to, it was Black Coffee there. He wasn't as big, he was on the way up. It was 
2017. And it was, I mean, he was I know big. you're right. I know you're right. I, I know you're not Did right. Goldfish play? No. That was at... No. Goldfish did not play. It was it was Black Coffee and then another guy. No, the guy was before him. That Murgatroyd. Ryan. No. That might have been after. I don't know. Ryan. But I remember Black Coffee because it was the first time and last time I've ever seen Black Coffee. Mm. No, I'm lying. I've seen him one more. But this is the first time I ever saw Black Coffee. And I remember him watching watching him sorry and he must have not been that big because there was no fucking bodyguards or i mean there might have been one but like i just it's not like people were fucking stocked you know like but i remember him finishing in the same thing i remember him like finishing stop and then he like just left and i remember i was jawling to him fucked up and it went to into nighttime Mm. and then he just left he also was just like wow and he, he was gone like yeah, 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 it's not like he stayed behind. You know, like d- some DJs stay behind backstage, yeah, or whatever. Very true. So yeah, I feel like he's just he's there for the jaw and he's gone, man. Bro, if I'm he's honest, though, if I was a DJ, I'd do the same thing. Like, what do you like? Unless like it was my friend perform. No, I'm lying. I wouldn't do the same thing. I would like my persona to be that though, mm. where they're like, mm. he comes here, he mm. delivers an amazing set, and then mm. he leaves. Yeah, I, I think th- that would be such a cool persona to have. I personally don't think I could because I like groove too much. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, like for me, I get you. It's like the mystery almost of that persona type mm. thing. And it's like what we're discussing now. Like it's weird. Yeah. Why? We'll never know. He's Maybe cool Maybe he does though. it on purpose. Though. Maybe it's like the thing of I'm literally just like going <coughs> to be like, oh. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it is like a persona thing. But I understand like I don't think if you guys were DJs, you guys would fucking jaw. Oh, yeah. yeah, 100%. I'd do some I'd even fun. ask to go back to back with the guy after me. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, are you mad? <laughs> I'd play there. They could pay, pay me for one set, and I'll play like four. I'd be like the worst DJ ever. After watching what we watched this week, this past week, could you be a DJ? Yeah, yeah, fully. You're right. Because yeah. mm. I mean, the grand scheme of things, if you're ever tired, you can just leave. Like if you finish, <laughs> oh, if, if you, you finish, finish your set, yeah, if you, yeah. Yeah. you can just go. Home. Yeah, because it's work at the end of the day yeah. as well. It's like there's no, nothing actually there. Like for me, the fucked up part is like <coughs> the ending. What? The ending is what gets to me. Because we we helped close off Sound Factory twice, because yeah. we were with everyone, so we were waiting for everyone to finish. Like we were there, like basically packing up. Like that was a bit hard. I don't think I could be a DJ for that. <laughs> Night one, we're leaving fucking Kingston's, and then we turn around, and Ross has a speaker on his shoulder, <laughs> and no one's questioned him about the speaker. He just walked out with the speaker, and like fair play, he had to like. It, put it in the car but i was like how <laughs> like why like what <laughs> but yeah that's gomorrah dude but yeah i don't think i could do it i just think the, the it's the flights man it's like that i'm here performing until this time then i have to get on a flight and be here performing at that yeah, time i love that not not even the flights or the drives bro i remember w- with rike dude when we went we went to one place nine o'clock this man has to be the next place for 11 o'clock oh, then yeah, the next yeah. place at two o'clock bro. like bro i Mm, I think I did it, it once like with him Zaken and I was like, it. never again. Yeah, we saw once with Zaken where she played at oh, Lotus party, yeah. and then we were leaving Lotus and then she was arriving and I was like, what the fuck? And then yeah. I clocked, she was playing somewhere else. Like, fuck off. in Centurion. Yeah, in Centurion. Jeez, like. And then came back and I was like, yes, that's, that's mad. But yeah, the hours seem insane, dude. And then thinking about getting to like the top level of DJing, those guys, it's like international flights those men have to catch. Yeah. No sleep but for I think, like I think, one day I think of a once weekend. You, once you get pie, though, then it becomes a lot easier. Like, I feel like it's mid tier that struggles the most. Because for like, like. it's just booking. Substandard, like, if you're like an average DJ, it's like, oh, you get a few gigs here and then, but you're not going to be going to Derbs or Cape Town too often. And then once you become a bit better, then you'll be traveling around, then that's when shit gets hectic. But it's like, then once you get to middle tier, you're literally traveling all across the SA and then occasionally, like, three times a night. But then once you get high up, it's like, I get paid like 200k kind of thing and I'm just catching vibes. Like play what, like an hour and a half set and then blah. Yeah, actually I agree with him because then you can also just say no. Yeah. I won't uh, be yeah, available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you can afford to be like no. Yeah. yeah. And the big problem with mid is that you get into a groove and it's like, oh shit, I can I should like gun all of these things. But obviously like you would want to because then your name gets out there. Yeah, yeah fully. Mm. It's one of those grinding things where you have to fucking do the schlep yeah. for you to get to mm, that amazing fully, point. Yeah. Fully. You have to record during hours of load shedding because one day there'll be no more load shedding on your private yacht. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time I was editing while grooving, I was like, guys, I promise once I bring us out of the squalor, <laughs> we'll have the fucking interns editing for us while we groove, I promise. God damn. 
Yeah. Wednesday was dope, though. We went to a pool party. I feel like we've got a bit off hand. Unless you want to ask more questions. No, no. You can ask no. more questions. I think that commandment question was very interesting. What, did he, what does it mean? So, like, so there's one from Tuffy first. Yeah? Tuffy Moon. He asks, did anyone break the Vobs boys' commandments? I don't know what he means by break. Tuffy. No. But... We, we did... Uh, we did quite a few. We did Lev's and I, oh, we, I... We did Posty's Sunrise. Mike Betts. Mike Betts. Mike Betts. Mike fucking Betts, bro. What that was guy. the best bro, fucking picture ever. Uh, we didn't even fucking tell this story. So we get there and it's like good vibes. We'd been drilling in Kingston's for a bit. Then they tell us which table is like ours to go sit at. So then we go and it's calm. And then literally I see this man like walking from like the crowd. And he's a big dude as well. So like you can't Six miss one. him. Bro, I was so fucking gay. Then he's like greeting Ross. And then I just see him. And then I'm like, oh, it's Mike fucking pants man and he's like oh no way and then i'm like david and then he sees david and he sees david and he's like guys let's get a picture <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yes. when he oh, asked boy. you bro <laughs> i cried i was like yeah no that's fucking you slap one of like just like us and ross and then he literally turned around to the selfie and i was bro. just like i've never been so happy in my life man Dude. that is, that's one of the best fucking moments <laughs> ever, bro. i can just imagine that happening bro. with the dslr even like bro. Yo, he even edited the picture and everything i was just like man this guy fucking he's the best he's, he's fucked, the fucking man he fucks man bit. god damn like this love him bro that's so sick bro yeah um but yeah we've got the, that pick i don't the confidence? Are you still on a downward spiral, sir? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I've I've, I've told Lebs and Dill. I've I've changed up the narrative of my life. Whole new day of shame. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Ah, uh, you'll see. You'll see. What does that mean? Does it <laughs> <laughs> I assume that means his confidence is going to go up. It's going to because he's changing. He's in the process. Yeah. Chest out. Put your chest out. I've been so scared my shoulders have been rolling forward recently. There's a fat chest boy. That's confident. Um, we'll I want to say we did a road <laughs> trip even though we flew, but still. <laughs> Sorry, the way he did that. Fuck you. like, you'll see. Um, road trip, yeah, I count that as a road trip. It starts in the road, it's in the air, but then it ends on the road. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? tarmac, road, to road tarmac. tarmac to tarmac. Tarmac to tarmac, Road trip. Um, what you ones? drove 40 minutes from the airport, so Festival that's a road bay, that, that was a no. You didn't get another one? No. That's no Festival of Bad Rage? Shame. That's just me. Thank goodness for that. Anyways. What, is it, what are the rest of the commandments? Go back onto the page. Let me, let me get them up for you. Fuck like that. Surprisingly, no, no safeties. Really? I think it was just a general air of bullshit and fuckery. But no safeties, yeah. You said we were living on a no safeties because we had no choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like one of you need to fucking get rid of your no safeties for that fucking week. Even saying yes to that, I feel like, is so close to just it being no safety. But no safeties is supposed to be like, like if you weren't keen and you could go, but you weren't keen. If I, that feels like a no safeties type of moment. But everyone was keen enough that I was like, no need. Yeah, and no, I know what you mean. Fair enough. I think you would have hated every second of the trip. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I think you would have burnt out night one. 100%. <laughs> I burnt out night one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck it hell. Yeah. Um, do you, do you want to keep going through the... Oh, do you want me to explain that question? Oh, from Torbs? Yeah. Yeah. It's essentially if... Oh, when we were coming up with the commandments, is there like an 11th commandment that could have been like that we had a toss up over like something that was like we need 10 but we have this many what fell away i was thinking it would be cool as a dj bingo but that's just one that it was never actually our thought process <laughs> what that's is it cool like dj bingo so you have to like knock off who you've seen you have to see like, that's all of them in the summer. oh that's fucking sick that would have been cool yeah i'm sorry or is I'm cool smart. um i'm gonna go into my notes Backshots. N- <laughs> no, 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 no. They haven't unlocked it yet. <laughs> Davy giving teasers, man. <laughs> uh, I think I deleted everything that was a potential. So if it was there, then it's not anymore. 
But I don't think there was anything that we were like. No, yeah, we weren't. We weren't sacrificing too many. Like I, I feel it was even. I feel one of them was even a push for us that we were like, I don't know how I feel about, it, but it actually worked out quite well. I just can't remember which one it was. Loving at the festival. Holy, fuck that. Yeah, it wasn't like get your. We had to remix some, so like get your confidence up was initially like go pull at a festival. But like if you're in a relationship, that's not really something that you're into doing. Yeah, I know. So it's just like not everything has to be about loving. Yeah, man. Sometimes just go to groove for groove. You know what I mean? Mm. Or always go to groove for groove. That's my fucking question. That's a beautiful thing. If you go to groove for groove, people will just want to make out with you. And that uh, what the f- one of fuck? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Yo, I don't agree. Why not? Because you just said you went to back uh, for groove, and nah. now you're like people will just want to make out with you. <laughs> Oh, I'm saying when you're in Joburg. When you're in Joburg. When you're in Joburg. 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 Not there. Which makes me not want to say the next thing, but we got asked a couple times why we went. And I feel like we've said it already, but. Yeah, it's like if you had the opportunity to go see a bunch of DJs live and backstage, why wouldn't you take that opportunity? No, 100%. And also, it's like just spending time with your friends. Like if we were literally with. It was, yeah, you, me, George, Ross, Nick. No. Just catching vibes most of the time. Yeah, that was beautiful, bro. Especially to go on holiday like with my brother as well in like a drawling way. Because we always say like when we go on family holidays, we never get to like see the nightlife or like go and experience the day. Like we're always doing like family oriented stuff. So it was nice to have a holiday for the first time ever where it was all about groove. Mm-hmm. And it was like I got to experience that. Like literally there was a moment when we were drawling at Kingston's. So it's like three in the morning, bro. I'm on the dance floor like Fucking grooving with Davey, grooving with Ross, his shoe is off, attached to his head. Fucking John is busy doing mad shit with his hands. Risha is fucking piping up the crowd. And I just turn around and I see Nikki and Merlin singing along to this one tune, dude. I even, I think it was like music sounds better with you or some shit, dude. But I just looked at him in that moment and I was like, fuck, bro. This is why, like, this is why I wanted to do this, bro. Like, this is such a beautiful moment right now. Like, and to watch him having fun and, like, you know, getting this opportunity because he wasn't going to go initially because all his friends went earlier. And then literally like the day before we left, I bought uh, his plane ticket and then sorted everything. And then, yeah, we went together and I was just like, yeah, I would have hated to come here without it type thing. Yeah, that's sick, man. Yeah. It's dope that you guys got to experience that together. Mm, yeah, man. Fucking Wait, cool how, memory. But did he go to Rage? No, 2020, bro. That's when he matriculated. Oh, shit. So there's nothing. Yeah. So, so well, there was, but it was a super spreader here. Oh, right. But do you think most of the his age group also went this year for yeah, to they make did. up? They were, yeah, they were, like, almost all of his friends were there. Like, oh, the shit, entire okay. friend group. Oh, so that was a thing. Mm. Oh, hectic. Okay. So it was his first vac. That's so sick. Did he get backstage and stuff with you guys as well? Or did yes and no. Mm. Okay, a little like, bit. At the end, yeah. He had okay. the artist fan. That's sick. Yeah. And then we left him there. And then he spent the next day there. And then he looked... I was at home. And then he sends me a picture of him in the back of what looked like a fucking human trafficking van. <laughs> and I, I was like, damn, that's tough. Anyway, we left you for one day. <laughs> Bro, even when we left him, like, we were at the pool party. And then... <laughs> left him with his bags. <laughs> we had to take his bags and stuff. And he's like, no, these guys said that I could leave my bags in their room and I was like who are they he's like nah I met him now he's apparently a resident DJ at this club in Pretoria I was like and I know the club so I was like oh fuck that's sick but I was also like how do you make friends so quickly bro like yeah. what the fuck but yeah it was beautiful magical week so um, we got like 10 minutes left mm. I wanted to take the time to conclude the year I don't know if we're going to be able to pump out another episode Mm-hmm. this year hopefully we do um but we probably won't if we do we probably won't have another opportunity to just reflect on the past year of vibes right and <laughs> i feel like no i was just <laughs> thinking worst fucking year of my life <laughs> no i was just gonna say how sick it would be to have like all, all of episodes like welcome 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 two two five five yeah, you edit yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> 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 like we have the fucking time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, but I just wanted to reflect in general. So, like, first of all, 
I feel like from all of us, I'll be the first to say, this year has been fucking awesome. Mm. It's been a wild ride for us. It's been busy, but it's been sick running a podcast for a full year almost now. I mean, we're on episode 56. Even though episode 52 should be about a year, we did take a break. But this year has been non-stop, non-go. We've been so fucking consistent. And there's been a few dips here for weeks, but understandably. But I just wanted to say thank you so much to all the viewers that are watching right now and to everyone that's watched our previous episodes. You guys have kept us going and uh, we're on an upward trend. Mm. And I just wanted to give you a brief snapshot of what we're planning next year. Don't do that. Why? Because remember when I promised them a new studio? Okay, no. <laughs> Every time we I'm not promising shit. A lot more guests. Basically. That's what, I, that's what I wanted to say, yeah. So it's like we... Our plan for next year is to really ramp up the content um, in general of what we got, we're providing you guys. And we want you to be more engaged. We want to get some more people from around South Africa on this podcast talking with us and have a nice time and just talk about some more shit. Like, obviously, we want to get guests from around South Africa on this podcast to talk with us. Um, for, by now, you know that David and Lebs are really into the drawling scene, into the music scene. And we want to get like-minded individuals on this podcast. And that's why I'm speaking to you now about this. I want you to comment down below who you think we should get on for the next year. We're busy putting towards a guest calendar. We want to get as many people on as we can and just engage with the best people, like-minded people. Yes, boy. To us. And so, yes. So comment down below who you guys think. We've got some really cool guests already confirmed for next year. And we're excited for those people. But yeah, give us give us some Give us some suggestions. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, so I just wanted to reflect in general on this past year of Vobs because we've had a wild year. And I just wanted to, to think about that. We've, we're 56 deep, episodes strong. What's sickening to me is like, if you think about it, our first guest was this year. So the only time we've ever had guests was now in 2022. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, yeah. Wait, well, who was our first Tyrone. guest? Tyrone was our first yeah, was guest. Feb, Feb March, yeah. That is mad to me. That feels like a lifetime ago, dude. It does, eh? Yeah. Shout and out we, all the guests to ever be on Vibes Podcast. Yeah, um, shout out. Yeah, bro. Tyrone, Kate, Judd, Cody, fucking Ross. 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 <laughs> shout out fucking <laughs> Ross, dude. Twice. I know. I, I feel like we don't say it enough, but bro, I literally had one of the best weeks of my life last mm-hmm. week. And that was all because of him. So yeah, love and appreciation to Ross every single fucking time, dude. The fucking guy. most vibes man, vibes man I've ever met in my entire Too life. much of a vibes man. Too much of a but fucking... And really shout out Jordan for keeping us safe the whole time we were there. Safe people, man. Yo, we were safe as fuck, dude. But yeah, this yeah. year... I mean, if you think about it, we've... How many, how many hours? You said we did 32 episodes. That's 32 hours of us speaking. 32, uh, where did you get 32 from? Sorry, nah, this from, year. Our, from our rap, yeah. We did 32 episodes this year. That's mad, eh? But Jesus. I mean, if you, if you really, if we can't, because I think it still calculates from December as well. So I think we did a few more. But yeah, it's like 32 hours minimum that we spoke for. <laughs> 32 <laughs> hours. It's disgusting. 32 <laughs> hours. One day you're going to send your fucking kids to private school because of 120 yeah. something hours that you fucking spoke on this podcast. Like, how weird is that? Yeah, oh, that is wild. And just to say, Bro. I mean, if everything, I think, like, things were quite calm up until, like, two months ago. And then the shits now started to, I, I want to say, at least picking up for us quite a bit. So yeah, 100%. I, I physically, I'm just so fucking excited. <laughs> next year, guys. Just want to let you know that. I love There's that There's some big you. shit coming for us. Big shit. In the best way. Yeah, Big better plans, zero percent. Better hold them to your socks because you're gonna see us in every fucking VIP booth. You're gonna see us what in your fucking now? household. You're gonna see us this in your mother's house. Weirdo, man. Get fucking ready. This cloud I'm the new stepdad. This cloud He's the new stepmom. I don't want and he's be. your son. How? I don't fucking know. You don't fucking know us. I know you. You use a bitch. But I love you for supporting us and don't stop watching it just because I insulted you right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Why can't you just say that and then leave it at that? Thank you so much for watching us. Say hello to your mother for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what was Lives, you gonna- I was your- <laughs>
Är du crazy? Thanks, Dad. I mean, <laughs> Um, I don't know, man. I had a great vibes year one or year. T- what are we? What are we saying? One. Year one. Basically, it's year October. one. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. like uh, August. Sorry. For as much shit as we would give ourselves for what we did put out and like the rate at which we put it out, we put in a solid fucking shift this year, like mm-hmm. a solid fucking shift, bro. And in my mind, the only way that it could have been more solid is if it was the only thing we were doing. Oh, bro, yeah. this was if this was it, eh? But yeah. Obviously, that'll come with time. But at the same time, I'm like, just to you guys, I'm so fucking grateful for you. Because I feel like you could get lost in this shit very easily. You know, you could either fall out of it and be like, oh, bro, not really serious. It's whatever. Like, I'll show up when I can type thing. Or like, either get too serious and be like, guys, it's fucking work. Like, this, this, where's this, where's this? But I feel like we've managed to keep a decent, like vibe with that and even though it's been like ups and downs and shit relatively at the end of the day i still enjoy showing up here every tuesday and yeah, like vibing out with you yeah. guys and it's just that thing it's like I, I for me i think with a lot of other people i would get very tired of showing up once a week and talking for an hour and a half yeah and then some so yeah but you guys always manage to keep it interesting yeah. there's always good chats and fucking laughs and that's the one thing bro i've never come here and not laughed yeah like that should like feeds my soul <laughs> Sorry, I know. I, <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're gonna do his thing. There was one episode that we did where we, I don't think we, we were, none of us are on a level, and I feel like it was just one episode. I don't think we laughed once. It was so serious. No, there was a laugh. I'm sure there might have been one. Which laugh, one? Dude, I just remember there was one day where we all arrived here. <laughs> Go on, I, and I, I was just I like, why are we putting this yeah. out? Actually, have we ever recorded something and not put it out? No, I don't think I've so. I've complained about something, but we still did it. Yeah. Yeah, I think everything is... Yeah. There's always salvageable <laughs> shit. No, I remember the episode you were talking about. I mean, how you and we that episode Lev's edited where, where the sound was fucked. <laughs> 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 we'll, put out, we'll put out fucking anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Lev's <laughs> We'll put out fucking... Um, for me, I think that episode you're talking about, didn't we rewatch it? And then we were like, actually, it's not that bad. Like we thought, like yeah, at yeah, the yeah. moment, we were like, fuck. That, that for me is yeah. the most annoying thing that we do. Like when you go then, like the way, because one of the worst things that happens in the podcast is that you'll be talking about something and in your head, while you're talking about it, it's like, I've been talking for like 15 minutes. I need yeah. to stop. And you can see like a visual, like, anger inside of you and then like you watch it's like oh it's three minutes yeah Yeah. and it's done and then you know you know what else i find funny sometimes is like when you're telling a story it also takes long Mm -hmm. and then when you're listening back to that episode while you're sitting here and i'm talking to you i'm trying to rush to get it finished Mm. but now when i watch it back i'm so invested in what i was saying so i'm like like you know when you like attach to the screen you go you're waiting for the next thing and then all of a sudden you're like ah but it's just not interesting like and then you're like what the (laughs) fuck did you just do (laughs) and sometimes i watch myself back knowing what i'm about to say and then i'm like oh but i yeah like it's actually so stupid like this is what this format is about this is like really taking your time to tell a story and to get it 100 percent correct and it's like that's I what, often wonder how about? many of like our viewers get so angry at us because of the tangents we go through. Like, if you think about our simple vibe checks, it always spreads out into like a tree of like, oh, but this and this and this is why someone. And then it's like, and that's my vibe check on steak kind of thing. And it's like, <laughs> I wonder how many of them are like, oh, this is such a solid vibe check. I can't wait to see the angle. And it's like, yeah, they did it again. Fuck off again. I feel look. like I feel like in the beginning we were self-conscious about that, but then over time I feel like. Like, when I watch it back and I see us go on a tangent, I'm more invested in what you're saying right now rather than, like, mm. where I'm thinking it's going to go. Yeah. Like, wherever it goes, I'm I'm so interested in to see. Even though I was here, <laughs> I listened. I, even when I edit and watch back, I still, like, I'm invested as how it progresses or, yeah, like, how 100%. it goes. So, it's like, and maybe some people are, oh, like, fuck, I just really wanted to know what that fucking vibe check was. But, yeah, I feel like we deep that too much. Yeah, yeah fuck you. Yeah, if you guys could ever <laughs> 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 Bro, I can't <laughs> with you, man. <laughs> Just be nice to the fans. I'm nice to them, man. Oh, this is very out of context. But uh, if you guys enjoyed Ross's last episode where we had the split screen, if <laughs> this episode is the same thing, let us know if you enjoy that. Um, 
because it was something we were trying out. We wanted to see if it worked. I feel like it was quite cool. What did you guys yeah, think? Yeah, I thought it was quite interesting as well. Yeah, I think it was, it was nice. I think I think it'd be nice to do in between the bits and bobs of the single cams. Though. Yeah, agreed. Mm-hmm. I feel you. even then, at least in like I think of them splitting the middle cam of Lebs and I, yeah, and then at least doing like. Okay, okay guys, I'm sure you love hearing <laughs> us talk about fucking technical <laughs> bullshit. Anyway. Guys, thank you so much for being with us over this past year. Vibes, we enjoy it. It'll be fucking embarrassing if we actually are back next week. <laughs> but I hope you guys had an amazing episode because we've had an amazing episode. We've had an amazing year and we're only going up from here. As you guys know, it, we always say it, but it ain't no fucking joke. Vibes to the moon, fucking baby. Moon. We're going up and we're going to take you guys with us every fucking step of the way. We're so fucking gas for this next year of vibes. Thank you so much for supporting us over this past year of vibes. And I promise you that as long as we draw breath and as long as Davy gets Nyash and Cloud from this podcast, we will be here every Thursday <laughs> giving you guys the most immaculate of vibes. Lads, what are we saying? I want to say if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please remember <laughs> to give us a review. We'd love a five star if you think we deserve it. And uh, on YouTube, fucker. give us a like and subscribe, please. The subscribe goes far away. 80% of our listeners are not subscribed. Um, so please subscribe. And uh, I'm just doing all the things that YouTubers do. Yeah. And um, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. And uh, we're about to give a million rent. Oh, no, that's Mr. Beast. Hold on. If you take your finger off that screen, we're coming for you and your family. When did they put it on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> they <all> like <laughs> <laughs> They're like, subscribe. If you take your finger <laughs> over the screen, <laughs> you're going to jail, baby. Uh, <laughs> Double tap that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> but if you lift your finger after tapping the screen once, there'll be shit to pay. We love you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you do for us. Bye bye, summer. And fuck your life. And bing bong. And. Can you stop? <laughs>